two, three, un. Welcome back guys to part 4. In this part we are going to develop a fusion lick or a melody in the right hand. Like a very short phrase over two bars which will complement the bass riff we've already learnt. And if you, are, if you stumbled on this video uh, without having watched the earlier parts, do consider heading over and watch that. Especially part 1 which will teach you the bass riff. Which is on 8th notes, I've taught it with notation very slowly in the earlier part so do consider watching that so now let's look at this lick which is more on a fusion kind of vibe now why do i call it a fusion lick because the, the pentatonic scales which are not major or minor pentatonic end up being very eastern in nature you'll get a very indian vibe and the, the scale i've used is one, three, four, five, seven flat. So you could say it's a subset of the Mixolydian scale, which is a major scale with a flat seven, but this is like a pentatonic for the most part. Sagama Pani. One, three, four, five, seven flat. So just get used to that scale and. The fingers, I'm trying to use all my five fingers so it becomes a very good finger drill. There's going to be some crossing, there's going to be some accents. So it'll be a very good finger exercise or drill to or lick to master in the right hand. And then independence because you'll have to also get this lick over this riff. Okay. So make sure you have got some of the earlier parts before coming to this part. The earlier parts get you that pulse and the basic coordination uh, strategies of both hands. Fine. Over to the lick. So the lick is on this subset scale. One major third, perfect fourth, perfect five, minor seventh. Okay. Very nice to improvise. Okay, right, so I'm going to first demonstrate the lick with a simple pulse in the left hand, not the bass line we learned earlier, but just okay, Go over to the lick. Let me phrase this and count it for you. One E and a two in three and four. And let's first get that. And the hand position is very simple. It's just thumb on E, index on G sharp, middle finger on A, ring finger on B and pinky on D. So... So let's first do just that bar one and keep repeating. same five fingers if you can with that bass line of early so that's a 16 you try to make up a like something with your mouth or just develop a phrase so you can remember it, you know, over time. Okay, moving on. Let's stop there till, till the G sharp. If you're not getting the, the groove in the bass or the riff in the bass, you can do a simple pulse. 
one more time chan chara ra 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 try to be able to sing tan tara ra 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 aur sa ga ma pa ni pa ma ga sa ga the intervals sa ga ma pa ni pa ma ga sa ga okay Now let's look at that fast semi quaver run which comes at the second bar of the lick which goes first bar now and that was the second bar okay that's a collection of how many notes 12 notes so you go tan tara di 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 do pam pare do re do 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 let's do that with a simple pulse ting 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 the lick again only that fast part mm 3 4 1 and 2 and 1 and and the g sharp comes in at the end of the one 1 and so if you think about it there's some interesting accents going on so 1 and Lines up very well at the end, right? So the fast semi quaver run comes in at beat two of the bar, one and two, one and two. So the first phrase, then practice that separately, and one and two e and a three e and a four e and a back. Right. Let me now break down that super fast sixteenth uh, note or semi quaver lick which I did right at the end of the tune. So the basic tune was that part. Let's break that down. So that actually is an accented phrase. It's accented in well three three then a two and then a four. So you can learn it as first one and two. The the accented run starts at the 2 of bar 2 so 1 and try that first and 1 and and then the next segment 1 and 2 and 3 that's at the end of the 3 and 2 and 3 and 2 and 3 let's do the first half of that run 1 and second half and 2 and 3 So that's a good way to practice these things in smaller phrases. One and one and okay, one and two and that's how we are counting. Or one e and uh, up to you, three e and uh, so first part of the the run. One. Uh, stop there. Just only do that. And one and. Second half, one and two and three. At the end of the three. So putting it together, and one and two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Let's now put it together. One, two, three, four, one, and ti ri ru di ru di di ru di ru di ru di. So say one and and then that one and ti ri ru be di ru di ru di ru di ru di and then and pulse in the left. One and ti ri ru ba di ru ta ka ba di ru ka ba. Four, one, in it, one and. Sorry, after the. One and after the end of the one and on of the two one and two three four one and so now putting it all together 
What did we do earlier? That's become a distant memory. That was your first part. Fingering, let me try and help you. Try to bring back your thumb for the the next loop of the 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 lick. So. Okay, so start with the pulse. And then get your lick as slow as possible if you wish. Do it as slow as possible if you wish at the speed you are comfortable with. And then take it. whatever speed you you can play or achieve at the moment or enjoy at the moment so the ultimate goal would be to get this bass riff from the left with the fusion lick in the right which we've just uh, invested a lot of time in put them together somehow that's the eventual goal Right guys, so that was about the fusion lick on the piano along with the bass riff. The bass riff you could say is very classic rock but the fusion lick... You find that more in an Indian song I guess or in a more Eastern song. So we've had four variations in this four part series. First part we just looked at the pulse with very day tripper, Beatles chords, B, D, E. B, C sharp E. Then we looked at accented arpeggios. Part 2. Then we looked at a glam rock or a, a chord inversion movement. Following the plagal. Following the plagal cadence and last but not least, we did the lick with the bass riff. If you can't get the lick with the bass riff, just get it with the pulse. And over time, get both together. So, right? so to organize your learning better you could consider getting the notes on patreon it's organized variation 1 variation 2 variation 3 variation 4 that will support our channel as well so do head over to our patreon channel and uh, you'll get the notes for this entire series as well as every other lesson and series we've done in the past present and future as well Right, And if you'd like to learn music at our school, do consider visiting nathanielschool.com, checking out some of the courses. We have video courses, we have online courses, we have some offline stuff as well coming up very, very soon. Um, you could also uh, become a member on YouTube by hitting that join button. That will give you access to a lot of our private vault of organized lessons, which 
a lot have found very useful and as always continue to support our channel by leaving us a comment letting us know what you would like to learn next or sharing your work with us on instagram that's a great way where you can connect with us uh, record a video put it up on your uh, post or stories and share it with either nathaniel school or jason zack we'll definitely have a look at it and it'll encourage us as well to know that you folks are actually doing what we are uh, <clears throat> explaining in these lessons right connect with us on whichever platform you could fill up a form which will uh, allow us to get in touch with you for regular workshops we can add you to the database where regular updates could be shared and stuff like that give the video a like uh, give it a share with all your musician friends we'd like more people on our channel it'll be great if you could help us out and as always this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music cheers stay awesome catch you soon